While you're waiting for next weekly update to come to the game, you can do these 5 things to entertain yourself until the next weekly update to come to the game. The first thing, try to win the podium vehicle. It's a classical Broadway prized at about $925,000. The Broadway in GTA Online draws inspiration from 1940s C Chevrolet models, featuring a classic lowrider aesthetics. And in terms of performance, it's not the fastest car, reaching a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour. However, its appeal lies in its role during the triple or five times bonuses on taxi work missions. With the taxi livery, the classical Broadway become a unique and lucrative choice for taxi work mission, and that making it desirable investment for players looking to earn money and drive the best looking taxi in the game. So to win the podium vehicle, all you have to do is go to a brand new section, it could be public section or in white only no matter, then you have to go to the casino and go to the prize wheel. There, right on the d-pad, then accept the alert. After accepting the alert, here wait for 3 seconds. And after 3 seconds, scroll left your L3 to the 9 o'clock, then scroll down to 6 o'clock. 80% your chance will be rising that you can win the podium vehicle. And if you didn't win, simply close your application and get back to the GTA Online, then you can try it again and do the same thing again. The second thing, play the clock in bell form rate highest, because it's a new highest and also there is a double money this week on that. The clock and bell form rate consists of the 6 mission in total. Among those there is a 5 setup mission each focusing on different aspects. Slash found mission 1 use armored vehicle eliminate gang members deliver founds to Vincent lockup. Breaking and entering mission 2 retrieve the laptop details steal hacking device and train keys hack a train signal for the finale. Calculate weapons a mission 3 acquire gear from Marabon Grain to choose a loadout, deliver equipment to Vincent Heda. Hit and run mission 4, select a getaway vehicle, elevate ports and cones, decide on a 1 for the highest finale. Disrecognize it crime, mission 5, intercept supply vans, sabotage trucks, find the loot in the clock and bell garage, deliver the loot to the Vincent lockup. Since of the crime finale, which is mission 6, seize cartel cop operation, collect the coca cola, hack in the office, escape and deliver the loot to the Vincent the lockup. And completing the clock and bell farm raid earn $500,000 also 3600 RP. The third thing purchase the Kenny's Terminus car. Because this is the best off-road car in GTA Online and every off-roader player should have this car. And in terms of performance the Kenny's Terminus boasts impressive speed, acceleration and excellent handling making it suitable for high speed maneuvering. The game file includes the top speed of 91.96 miles per hour though a real world testing may provide more accurate results. And notably the vehicle excels in climbing steep surface, contributing to its status as one of the best off-road cars in GTA Online. And this is a 4-door off-road SUV available for purchase under $2 million. And also this is one of the Ammonitech vehicle which is equipped with a Mesoyo lock-on jammer or can be turned into a remote control vehicle. Customization options for Terminus include unique features such as a rear bumper, tow hitchick, a hood with the shovel and also an axe. The fourth thing purchased the Fister 811 car. The Fister 811 is especially due to its distinctive design inspired by real life hyper cars. Its unique aerodynamic body, customization option and topless variant making it stand out. And also being a hybrid electric car with the impressive acceleration and top speed of 132.50 miles per hour. When fully upgraded created it ranks as the ninth fastest car in the game, while it falls under the supercars category. Its bulletproof rear adds an extra layer of the appeal for players. Despite being temporarily removed, then you can only buy it from players, or you can buy it this week from the street car test ride. The fifth and the final thing, play the Haunting Pack Adversary Mood. Because we have double money and RP on Haunting Pack Adversary Mood, and this is a teamwork game mode. Players either defend or destroy a high stake cargo vehicle. The object varies based on your role. Attackers, which is runners, safely escort the slow moving vehicles to its destination within the time limit. But the defenders or hunters stop the cargo vehicle by any means necessary before it's reach 
reach the destination. And the cargo vehicle moves at the slowest speed, vulnerable to collusions and attacks. Team coordination is crucial. The mod supports 4 up to 16 players, fostering intense competition in both small and large groups. Payouts vary based on the completion of the time, success of the team, or the overall the performance. And the payouts, the mini payout $10,000, max payout $80,000. Mini RP 2000, max RP 8000 RPs. In conclusion, Hunting Pack offers demanding teamwork and strategic thinking, whether protecting the cargo or trying to stop it. Players can expect thrilling moment and a lucrative rewards. And that's it for today's video and if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online updates, so subscribe to this channel.